What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube and today we are in the new 2022 Toyota Venza courtesy of Younger Toyota in Hagerstown, Maryland. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so we are in this one today because this is an SUV that gets 40 plus miles per gallon for every single trim level. And that is insanely impressive in itself. Not only that, it's an IIHS top safety pick and it's extremely good looking in my personal opinion as well. So ultimately in this video, we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. Okay, so as you can imagine, there are a few different trim levels for the 2022 Venza. First one being the LE starting at $32,890. Then the XLE for $36,425. And lastly, the limited being the one that we have today starting at $40,380. But Regardless of trim level that you go with, the power plant on the Venza is going to be the same. Powering the Beast is a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine with three electric motors, making a combined 219 horsepower at 5,700 RPM, 163 pound-feet of torque coming in at 5,200 RPM. Power sent to all four wheels. This is all-wheel drive standard through a CVT, zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 7.1 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 40 in the city. 37 on the highway taking regular unleaded fuel so saving you some money there as well so ultimately before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in our vents i wanted to mention the drive modes so there's a little toggle switch located directly in front of the shifter that is going to give you eco normal sport and ev adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response steering sensitivity and that ev mode that is going to be a full electric mode and you can activate that when the batteries are fully charged up at least so that is going to be super quiet and the most fuel efficient of course obviously so having now gotten all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straight away let's put the venza to the test and Let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. All right, you guys, it's a bit wet out, but here we go. Little bit of spitting, not all that much though, but it's plenty of acceleration though, honestly. Definitely not gonna have any issues with merging onto the highway and decent amount of grip for uh, being kind of pouring rain right now, but Again, a little bit of spinning, but again, plenty of an acceleration, so no issues there. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 12-inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 11.1-inch solid rear discs. As far as that 60 to 0 stopping distance goes, that is going to come in at 121 feet, which is plenty respectable. But having said that, braking feel is a bit on the softer side, as expected, really, for SUVs. So it's plenty fine, though, according to that number. Then touching on suspension and handling, I'm you're going to get an independent McPherson strut front suspension in the back, independent multi link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars. As far as ride quality goes, it's excellent, quite honestly. It's been absorbing uh, Hagerstown's road imperfections quite nicely so far here today. So, ride quality is 100% on point without a doubt. As far as steering feel goes, it's it's different depending upon the drive mode that you put in. I'm going to switch it back into uh, normal and it instantly loosens up the steering feel. So having said that, if you wanted a bit firmer of a feel, a little heavier weight to the steering, put it in sport. If you don't, take it out of sport. It's kind of nice. Something for everybody there. As far as cabin noise goes, I'm going 55 miles per hour right now. Of course, it's raining, so that's going to contribute. But there is a little bit of road noise there. A little bit more than I'm used to in an SUV like this. But having said that, it wouldn't bother me personally. But it's just more than some of the other competition that I've driven lately. Then touching on visibility, I can see 100% perfectly fine out the back. We'll get into that rear view mirror in a little bit because it's actually a rear view camera, which is crazy. I love it. But anyways, rain sensing windshield wipers are gonna be optional for the uh, limited trim and a head up display also being optional for the limited trim. We actually have that today. So right now I'm looking at a compass. I'm looking at my speed. I'm looking at the battery charging indicator and I'm looking at the speed limit of any given road as well. So that is super handy. And I got to tell you guys, it's one of the brightest head up displays I've seen in quite a while. So one of the best head up displays I've seen in quite a while. So I absolutely 100% love that. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Toyota Venza. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Toyota Venza filming it in the rain. 
gotta love it but it's pretty warm out today so i don't mind but anyways let's go ahead and start up front on this one multi-layered dark gray front grille with chrome accents coming standard for all trim levels across the board they will actually come with active grill shutters as well it's a pretty cool feature essentially what that is is it's going to open and close those shutters dependent upon the engine cooling that is needed at any given time so that's pretty cool also if you guys look at that toyota logo up front it is highlighted in blue as they do with all of their hybrid configurations or vehicles that they produce multi reflector led headlights coming standard for the le they do come with the automatic feature automatic high beams coming standard for all trims as well led daytime running lights of course but if you were to go with the XLE or limited trims, you will actually get LED projector headlights. So a little added illumination there, which is always nice. And lastly, if you were to go with the limited, you will also get LED fog lights then as well. But that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, and so now since we are around to the side of this one, low profile silver roof rails coming standard with the XLE and limited trim levels. Rear privacy glass also coming standard. Hybrid badging found on those front fenders. Of course, that's a given then take a look at the mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors they will be heated with led integrated turn signals as well all of that coming standard gotta love that we'll actually get puddle lights for all trims as well which i thought was pretty cool and actually puddle lights with venza lettering spelled out if you were to go with the limited trim level i thought that was even cooler but now let's go ahead and take a look down at the wheel setup 18 inch multi-spoke machine finished alloys coming standard with the le 19 inch multi-spoke chrome finished alloys coming with the xle and limited and of course that is what you guys are looking at right now but love the silhouette to the side of this one but now let's go ahead and make our way to the back all right so now since we are around to the back of this one all the way to the top you will find a body colored shark fin antenna just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light and it's going to come with a black finish for that rear spoiler if you were to go with the le but then a body colored finish for the xle and limited trims rear window wiper of course just below that when it comes to the tail lights they are led tail lights coming standard for all trim levels across the board gotta love that got that blue highlighted toyota badging of course then as well and just below it all you are going to find dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips so having said that it's not going to be an exhaust clip but i'll start it up because you can't actually rev it in park because this is a hybrid so i'm just going to say here is the startup of the venza All right, so now since we are around to the back of the Venza, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a hands-free power tailgate that does come standard, actually, for all trim levels across the board. You don't usually find that ever, especially at this price point for SUV, so I absolutely love that. But anyways, once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 28.8 .8 cubic feet behind that second row. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down, bumping that up to 55.1 cubic feet. Did want to also mention, since we're back here in the cargo area, there is a cargo cover that will come standard for all trim levels across the board. Another one of these features you don't usually find coming standard for all trim levels, so you got to love that. LED cargo lighting, again, that's rare. Even at this price point, you usually find halogen cargo lighting. Not that it's a big deal, but LED cargo lights, that's pretty cool. If you lift up underneath of that um, cargo floor, then you will actually find a spare tire with a little bit of added storage. You could probably fit an ice scraper or something like that in there as well. But now let's go ahead and make our way up to the rear legroom. That is going to come in at 37.8 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in the back seats there. There is a rear center armrest with cup holders that does come standard for all trim levels across the board rear ventilation also coming standard as well and dual rear usb charging ports just below that rear ventilation then as well coming standard so i absolutely loved that then make our way to the front seats cloth seating is going to come with the le soft text upholstery coming with the xle and limited trims then there is an eight-way power driver seat with power lumbar coming for every single trim level across the board that's excellent memory settings for the xle and limited trims power adjustable power passenger seat for the limited trim level only heated front seats then for the xle and limited and those buttons are located just behind the cup holders there ventilated front seats then just for the limited trim level but overall i think i said this in last year's review of the venza as well some of the most comfortable seats out there right now and i'm not just saying that but i have reviewed over 600 cars at this point and i will say these seats are insanely comfortable kind of reminiscent of the lexus f sport seats those are still my favorite but these are a very close second which makes sense because toyota makes lexus but anyways very nice seating but then taking a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescope 
scoping. It is leather wrapped for every single trim level across the board and then heated if you were to go with the limited trim level. Then make your way to the startup. Let me first start by showing you guys the key here. It is a Venza specific key. You got that cool design on the one side. Then when you flip it over, you got lock, unlock, and that button to pop the rear tailgate there. But it is essentially all keyless entry with a push button start. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot in the brake and press that bright blue engine start button located just in front of the shifter. And so once started up, speedometer is all the way to your right. There is your battery information all the way to your left and a digital display front and center to control what is on that digital display. There are steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel. And that gives you things like a digital speedometer, how many miles you have left until you hit empty, the battery charge life at any given time. There's radio information, tire pressure information, the list goes on, but pretty much everything you could possibly need up on the digital portion of the gauges at least but then making our way to overall interior quality there is a stargaze panoramic moonroof which is going to be optional on the limited and actually it looks like we have that today that is pretty darn cool i wish it was dark out so i could really show you guys what that's going to look like but that is freaking cool i wish it was dark out man Anyways, LED interior lighting coming standard for all trim levels, wireless phone charger for all trim levels as well, dual zone climate control for all trim levels yet again, home light controls for the XLE Unlimited trims, illuminated footwells for the XLE Unlimited, wood grain style trim for the XLE Unlimited yet again. And it's actually going to differ in color, like we have kind of a darker finish to the wood grain style trim, but there are lighter finishes as well, so I did want to mention that. Soft text finish surrounding the shifter, this is one of the most kind of classiest high quality finishes around a shifter that I've seen in quite a while. Usually you get a heck of a lot of black plastic or even gloss black is better than the black plastic, but this takes it up even another notch, finishing everything in a soft text upholstery with stitching going along the sides as well. So it looks dang good. I absolutely love that. So honestly, overall interior quality is excellent. Just in front of the shifter, you have a couple more USB charging ports, auxiliary port. There's an electromechanical parking brake. Just behind the shifter, you have your dual cup holders and decent amount of storage within the center armrest, including a 12 volt power outlet and if you look forward again, that's where your heated and ventilated seat buttons are going to be located if you get the limited at least. But definitely very, very nice interior quality without a doubt. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech because we have a massive screen here. 8-inch color touchscreen display is going to come with the LE and XLE, but... If you were to go with the limited, you get a 12.3 inch color touchscreen display, which of course is what you guys are looking at right now. Bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, of course. You got an energy monitor screen, which is currently what I have it on. I absolutely love that. I think that's stinking cool. Factory navigation system is going to come with the limited. And of course, you can check out your radio information up on that screen as well. So by the way, when it comes to the sound system, six speakers are going to be had with the LE and XLE trims. But if you were to go with the limited like we have, you will get a nine speaker JBL sound system with a subwoofer and an external amp. So having said all that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> Okay, bass was ridiculous. Like I said, it does have a JBL subwoofer located in the cargo area there. I actually had a JBL subwoofer. It was an external one that I got from my very first car and I thought it was amazing. This one's amazing too. That is a ton of bass here. Clarity was 100% on point. JBL is a very reputable company. They've been around for quite a while now, for decades now, I believe. So excellent sound system here on the Venza without a doubt. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen at least is when you do put the Venza in reverse, of course with it being a hybrid it's going to make a little bit of uh, sound when you put it in reverse. You guys may or may not hear that. You will get a rear view camera coming standard across the board though. We'll also get a 360 degree monitor that is available as well. But that is always is going to lead us into safety. And so like I said at the beginning of the video, the Venza is an IIHS top safety pick which is excellent. Front side side curtain airbags do come standard. Drive knee airbag as well along with the passenger seat cushion airbag as well in the back you're gonna have latch aka lower anchors to tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also toyota safety sense 2.0 is going to come standard which includes a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection lane departure alert with steering assist lane tracing assist automatic high beams dynamic radar cruise control
control and road sign assist then as well. Then if you were to go with the XLE or Limited, that is going to add in addition to that blind spot monitoring system and front and rear park assist with automatic braking. And there is this really awesome rear view camera located within the rear view mirror, which is awesome because if you're going on a road trip, let's say to Ocean City or something, and you got all your cargo piled up to the ceiling, you're obviously not able to use that rear view mirror, but when you have the camera set up, you can still see who or what is behind you even when everything's piled up to the ceiling. So that's pretty cool. So anyways, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the new 2022 Toyota Venza, amazing, amazing fuel economy for an SUV. 40 miles per gallon in an SUV like this is absolutely wonderful. Great interior quality without a doubt. Extremely comfortable seats. I love that. When it comes to room for improvement, full digital gauge cluster I would have loved to have seen in a Venza. So I know Toyota can do it. They do it in some of their other vehicles. So I would definitely want to see that. Also multicolor ambient lighting would be pretty darn sweet as well but anyways let me know what you guys think of the new venza in the comment section below that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to youtube be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold